That's for where I am. I'm not exactly sure. But, you know, it's a little hot for heaven. Bonjour. Uh, 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 uh,
Whilst on this outside Tantan in Southern Morocco, about to embark on an adventure cycling across the Sahara Desert. <sighs> there we go. I made it. Okay. There we go. That's not a place I want to be. Okay, from here. From here. My camp is just there. The fastest way to get there is getting close to sundown. My way out is over there. The fastest way is to avoid going up and down the sand dunes, just go along the top or along the bottom.
sand is just crumbling. Let's see. Sand is generally too soft to take off the head, so a bit of wood goes a long way. to the mouth.
You're all.
So. been looking for snakes at night I've deemed it now unsafe I've lost my tent maybe just under an hour maybe just over an hour but I don't know I still have not found my tent I'm getting kind of scared right now because I don't there could be a snake under the sand wait to pounce I need my tent. This is a bad idea. This is a very bad idea. I'm looking for footsteps. Do you think I recognise? Luckily, the moon is out, so I can see a bit. Sand is generally too soft to take off the head, so a bit of wood goes a long way.
شکل Algeria, not a place I want to be. There we go. I made it. Okay. There we go. If I'm not mistaken, that is the Algerian border. That's not a place I want to be. Okay, from here. From here, my camp is just there. The fastest way to get there is getting close to sundown. My way out is over there. The fastest way is to avoid going up and down the sand dunes, just go along the top or along the bottom.
Okay, so they're just fixing my bike around the corner. This is the second time in two days that they're fixing it. It's not good. It's takes 18 hours out of my cycling day. I've got maybe an hour left to cycle tonight before it gets dark. Uh, I need to up my mileage. But hopefully they say they can fix it, they can roll it shut. Uh, hopefully it works. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that does not sound good. That does not sound good. That does not sound good. Oh, God, that is definitely a puncture. That's my third puncture. I've never changed a wheel on a road bike. I've only ever done it on basic mountain bikes or a bike when I had when I was a kid. So, hopefully... It works. Uh, turn there. Yeah. Okay, so the plan here, and I'm planning on ever fixing the tar, uh, in the tube itself. Okay, so the plan here. Okay, so the plan here, I don't plan on fixing it in the tube myself. The plan is to replace the inner tube with a fresh new one. Cut the old inner tube into half. So just cut it so it's one layer thick. And then put this inside the wheel right there and that should hopefully protect me from any future punctures so right now i'm putting in the 
old tube as a protector for the new one. Make sure the new tube is clean of any potential damaging particles. You do not want a puncture to happen within the tire, as that is easily avoided. Easy enough. It goes in.
Okay, so my third day of cycling today it's gone a lot better than it has the past two days I feel you know the first two days I didn't eat enough food I didn't drink enough water luckily uh, I waved my arm in the air on the road with a bottle of water and the first van that passed pulled over gave me food gave me some uh, bread dairy and some water which made my day uh, a lot of my equipment started to go wrong uh, my tent the poles are starting to break which means I'm having to duct tape them together I'm also getting very sunburned at the moment I've, as you can see I'm now not wearing a t-shirt I'm wearing a shirt I'll show you my sunburn so that's my normal skin colour and that's my sunburn it's not too bad when it's in the sun but even when you go to it's not too bad when you're in the sun but even when you go to bed it's still burning uh, I slept on a cliff last night it was very cold I had some rock to keep to uh, shot I slept on a I slept in a cliff I slept in a cave on a cliff last night, uh, just in my sleeping bag. It was very cold. I had a rock to like shield me from the wind coming from the sea, but still I was very cold. It wasn't too enjoyable, but it was very picturesque. Today I've been riding the whole day with my back tyre. I think it has another puncture. I think it may be a slow puncture, which isn't so bad, but still it's slowing me down. But now that I've decided that I need to eat more food, drink more water, it means I can cycle a lot faster on the road. It's also about... It's not enough to want to get from A to B anymore. When, it, when you just want to get from A to B, you just cycle at a regular, leisurely pace. You have to get yourself in the zone. You have to, like, want to get... You just imagine your friends being in the location where you're trying to get to, how many miles or kilometers away it is, and you just imagine that and you cycle faster. You think about the sacrifices that World War II soldiers made, and you just, it inspires, it just inspires, you, you think about the sacrifice that World War II soldiers made, and it just inspires you to go that bit faster. Thank <laughs> you. 
reckon six punches in about two days. I'm just getting a lift to the nearest town. I'm gonna have to buy a new bike, I think. So I'm just outside Tan Tan in Southern Workout about to embark on the adventure of cycling across the Sahari Desert. It's the bike I've got at the moment, just bought it last night. Unfortunately, it's a road bike, not the mountain bike which I was looking for, but it's the only one I had in half good condition, so it would have to do. This adventure isn't about cycling from A to B. It's, about, it's not about how many miles you do. It's about embracing the feeling of being lost in the world. Listen to your music, you got your backpack on, you're by yourself. You're depending on only yourself. You know, I guess in life, it's not important if you don't remember it at the end. It only matters that you felt it. Peace. Zunun Pan Pafonse, Siongle, Unvelo Po Tu, Unvelo, we. As a Suya, I'm going to a uh, airport to London. So, we there. For you, we, we. Hello. Un vélo, for you, for two, yeah, we, au revoir.
There we go. There we go. Got ourselves a little lizard. Well, they are very quick and agile. So just let it get into the can. And go. More desert. Small desert.
animal nearby I can follow it and there's an animal nearby if I can follow it I can find food there's an animal nearby there's an animal there's an animal nearby if I can follow it I can find food <laughs>
Okay, so I've got a lizard cornered, but I don't have a knife on me. If I leave this spot to get my knife, the lizard will most likely be gone and I won't find it again. The only cutting tool I have on me is my teeth. So I'll have to bite off the head. Oh, it's got claws out. It's got, oh. Oh, 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 That'll be food for tonight.
Yo, man. Wait, wait, I'm on. Davidi. I'm king of the world! So trying to pass the food at the moment. Just found a lizard and just ate it. It's 
getting very close to the midday sun, maybe a few minutes from exactly 12 in the afternoon. I need to stay cool, it's unbelievably hot, even with the wind. So I'm going to use my only viable bodily fluids, which I don't even have much of at the moment. I'm going to urinate on my shirt. Not a lot, but I'm hoping the liquid will draw body heat away from my body much more efficiently than without water. <laughs> and I'll just keep the shirt open just to allow for circulation. And I'll just go find myself a lizard.
Say bon. Say bon. The stomach is uh. Say uh, bon. Yes. Uh, for. I was need to. Uh, Pardon. Sorry. Yeah. 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 C'est bon. C'est bon. bon, oui. I'm uh, I don't hospital. Thank <laughs> you. 
Commissaire. Hospital. No 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 No hospital. 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 I'm going to go back up to
Okay, so I'm in Mauritania at the moment. It's incredibly hot. I've been in my tent all day. That loud crackling noise you can hear right now is a foil blanket. So I can't, which I'm using to keep the heat off my body. I can't attach it to the outside of my tent because it will just blow away the wind. The wind is extremely hot. It's like being in an oven. God. I can barely even remember what it was like to be hydrated, to be to be wet, to be clean. Or to be cold. And the moment that keeps going around my head. So you know when you're a kid and there's a paddling pool. And it's warm during the day. And as the day goes on, you find grass in it. Because you've been playing about in the grass, stepping back into it. And then by the evening it's cold and it's chilly. You know? You can eat a nice lot, you can drink, drink a cold coke and it's okay. It's the memory, just the memory of a, a summer in Chesham when you're a kid. Keeps you going. You gotta just take this, pretend it's just a warm summer in Chesham. That's it. No. That's not where I am. Not exactly sure. So I'm in Mauritania at the moment. It's incredibly hot. I can't even remember what it's like to feel cold, you know, to feel hydrated, to be clean, just to be wet. You know, it's midday, being in my tent all day, I don't want to leave my tent. I'm running low on water. I'm going to have to get cycling later tonight when the sun goes down. You know, you just got to, I've never experienced heat this hot. Yeah, I'm under like a foil blanket at the moment. It's the thing that's keeping the sun off me. But I don't know how effective it is right now. Right. This heat, this heart. So he's got it. He's got have to interpret it as, you know, this is nothing more than just a hot summer when you're a kid. You know, when you had a paddling pool, that's a memory. It's a paddling pool. And it's warm during the day, you're eating ice lollies, you're drinking cold Cokes, you're eating ice cream. And as the day goes on, you find grass in the paddling pool because you've been stepping in and out of it. Then by the evening, it's war chill, you know. As for where I am right now, I'm not exactly sure. But I just know it's a bit too hot for heaven.
Almost there.
Listen to the sound of the... Listen to the sound of the environment. There's mosquitoes everywhere. They're somehow getting inside my tent. The best thing about reptiles is that because they're cold blooded, you can actually eat them raw because they don't contain all the bacterial infections which can harm you as much do as warm blooded animals do. But they do still possibly contain parasites which can make you very ill. So, bon appetit. I tried to suck out a venom, but it's not working. It's not. Oh god, come on.
so I'm just letting them fix my bike around the corner. I'm just uh, near the coast of the Sahara. Uh, this is the second time in two days that they've had to fix my bike. It's not good. It's really grating on me because it's taking away hours that I could be cycling. I haven't done enough miles today. Did about 15 miles today, which is not enough. Though that was with one pedal, which is understandable. But I need to be hitting 50 per day minimum. That's it. Lost. Yesterday, the pedal on my bike unfortunately broke. I could have hit a lift back 80 kilometers back to Dakla to the nearest mechanic, or I could cycle with just one pedal and go towards the south, towards Mauritania, to where the next nearest mechanic is. I made the decision to just head south. Fortunately, the gods, the old and the new, have given me plenty of wind as to aid my journey. An old friend of mine recently said, a friend of mine said, never go back on yourself. And I hope damn God is right. And for your frame of reference, 300 kilometers is about between New York and about a town 300 kilometers away. Okay, so part of what I've been trying to do in the Sahara is to find certain creatures. I've already seen lizards, I've seen scorpions, but I still haven't seen a snake. So I travelled around the country to places where I thought there'd be more snakes, there's a bit more inland, in Al Sud and M Sid. At both times I have been stopped by the military, as it's a military controlled area, and I've been told to leave by sundown both times. That was my lowest point because it's my dream to find a snake, I want to see a snake. But I was kicked out. They both said as well. For me to find a snake, I'd have to get a car and drive out to the middle of nowhere. And even then, it's going to be difficult. Just don't tell me what I can't do. Yeah, you know, I can still fix this. There's still time. I can still find a snake. But I find myself taking more risks in looking for a snake now. I don't look where I put my hands. I pick up rocks. I don't look about where I'm putting my hands. A snake could be under there or a scorpion. It could bite me dead. You know, hope is what's going to get you killed out here at the end of the day because you're by yourself. You're hoping that you find a snake and you're just making risks. you got to sometimes accept maybe there's no hope. About to embark on the adventure, cycling across the Sahara Desert. Road bike. It's not a bike I originally wanted. I wanted a mountain bike so I can go off road, much easier. But this is what I've got. This adventure isn't about going from A to B. It's not about how many miles I can do per day. It's about embracing the feeling of being lost in the world, by yourself with just your backpack on, listening to your music and just living life. You know, the important thing about life is not about remembering it. It's about feeling it in the first place. Peace. You got your backpack on, you by yourself. You're depending on only yourself. You know, I guess in life, it's not important if you don't remember it at the end. It only matters that you felt it. Peace. It's not too bad when you're in the sun, but even when you go to bed, it's still burning. Uh, I slept on a cliff last night, it was very cold, I had some rock to keep to uh, shot. I slept on a, I slept in a cliff, I slept in a cave on a cliff last night, uh, just in my sleeping bag, it was very cold. I had a rock to like shield me from the wind coming from the sea, but still I was very cold. It wasn't too enjoyable, but it was very picturesque. Today I've been riding the whole day with my back tyre. I think it has another puncture. I think it may be a slow puncture, which isn't so bad. But still, it's slowing me down. But 
now that I've decided that I need to eat more food, drink more water, it means I can cycle a lot faster on the road. It's also about... It's not enough to want to get from A to B anymore. When it, okay, so... It's my third day of cycling today. It's gone a lot better than it has the past two days. I feel... You know... The first two days I didn't eat enough food, I didn't drink enough water. Luckily, uh, I waved my arm in the air on the road with a bottle of water and the first van that passed pulled over, gave me food, gave me some uh, bread, dairy and some water which made my day. Uh, A lot of my equipment started to go wrong. Uh, my tent, the poles are starting to break, which means I'm having to duct tape them together. I'm also getting very sunburned at the moment. I've, as you can see, I'm now not wearing a t-shirt, I'm wearing a shirt. I'll show you my sunburn. Okay, so I got into Mauritania last night. It was quite easy getting over the border without any issues. Unfortunately, looking at Mavu, we've got another 478 kilometers uh, with a bike with still just one pedal. <laughs> so that's not too good. The sun in Mauritania is much hotter. Much hotter. It's burning me right now. Luckily, there's, there's wind keeping me cool. So as long as I keep moving, I should be okay. But now that I've passed over my final diplomatic hurdle, the rest of the ship should hopefully be plain sailing as long as I don't do anything stupid. So, peace. at the moment, it's incredibly hot. I can't even remember what it's like to feel cold, you know, to feel hydrated be clean, just to be wet, you know, it's midday, being in my tent all day, I don't want to leave my tent, I'm running low on water, I'm going to have to get cycling later tonight when the sun goes down, you know, you just got to, I've never experienced heat this hot, you know, I'm under like a foil blanket at the moment, it's the thing that's keeping the sun off me. But I don't know how effective it is right now.
in the Sahara Desert I'm not somewhere it's pretty windy and hot out here right now but if I can get to those sand dunes the tallest ones in my sight I know I can find my way back I've just made a colossal mistake folding away my tent the midday sun is about 30 minutes from arriving the heat is intense I need shelter I'm gonna have to make my tent again as energy as water wasted I can't make this mistake again
us not a lot but he'll have to do Oh, come on, get off of me. It's not much, but enough to do.
Sink in or sink in fire. This is being a source of water. The sap is milky. We do not drink.
Thank <laughs> you. 
guys in the moment. I still have not found my tent. I need my tent. I need it bad. I need it bad. I need to find my. Oh, fuck! 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 Okay. Let's go. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Setting up your tent is very difficult. The key is to throw something through the door. Can't take my eyes off of you. You feel like heaven to touch. I wanna hold you so much. Love has a lot. <sighs> 
Try to suck out a venom, but it's not working. It's not. Oh god, come on. Okay. 
king of the world! Oh! Ow! 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 King of the world! Ow! 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 ow. I'm the richest man in the world! The only one in a 50 mile radius experience. Yeah! So good of it! It feels so good!
Right. So I'm trying to find some food at the moment. Just found a lizard and just ate it. It's getting very close to the midday sun, maybe a few minutes from exactly 12 in the afternoon. I need to stay cool. It's unbelievably hot, even with the wind. So I'm going to use my only viable body fluids, which I don't even have much of at the moment. I'm going to urinate on my shirt. Not a lot, but I'm hoping the liquid will draw body heat away from my body much more efficiently than without water. Waking up after the first night in the Sahara at my tent, and the views are just insane. Ah, I can just grab this scabbard beetle. I'm sorry, my little friend, for dinner is served somewhere in the Sahara Desert. I'm not sure where. It's pretty windy and high out here right now. But if I can get to those sand dunes, the tallest ones in my sight, I know I can find my way back. There are bigger sand dunes, but I'd die before I make it there. So I'm running low on water. I 
so this is a tour of the inside of my tent the wind really does blow it so it's really compact and there's a ton of sand and just mess everywhere and that's my roof yeah. this
take just wait wait hold on condition uh it's been so yeah not knock shot and then put to limit yeah knock shot uh, uh yeah we spot in the actual to Casablanca but uh, uh well and then Mark Marco uh Marco Mark yeah we and then to London the yeah, avion uh, we uh, yeah, yeah, no actual down, but like boot in a bit, no actual. And then, and then party, yeah, and avion. We get, we get Casablanca. What's it?